I just want to demonstrate a partial, I can't say worst case scenario because there's no semi trucks pulling out in front of me. But uh, the sun's right there. Don't want to fry my sensor here, but the sun's right there. We're going into the sun. The lines are white. By the naked eye, I can just barely make out the lines. It's easier for me to see the tire where the tires have over time worn, you know, the road, you know, in that certain way. Yet, you can see autopilot is keeping us pretty much straight. In a, I do have my hand on the wheel here. Autopilot is keeping us pretty much right in line. As you can see, as I switch between showing the dash to outside, you can see how, yes, Vinny, how bright the light difference is. And yet autopilot is still able to keep us going right real good there. Just an observation on how the autopilot camera does adapt to situations. Now, in reference to the well beaten to death uh, subject of the first autopilot fatality, uh, white semi trailer on a white background. Uh, now I guess white on white is one thing, but I think it more or less had to do with the radar not hitting the semi trailer than the autopilot camera not seeing it. Uh, my opinion is the autopilot camera saw it, but since the radar couldn't tell the car how far away it was, as far as the car knew, that was, you know, 20 miles away and it was just absolutely massive and not, you know, really freaking close. So that's it, just an observation. Quite a bit brightness level differentiation there. Um, I actually, I don't have sunglasses on. If I did, it would be exponentially better. But uh, if I was driving this 100% right now on my own, no autopilot, I would have, I would be squinting like no tomorrow and I'd be having a hard time seeing what's going on around me.